Princeton style team, you know, like Columbia, who was um, tough to guard and half court, and that team that, you know, once they get up and down, scored 111 in their first game. Um, so, you know, in watching them on tape, they were scary. They had a lot of veteran Division One guys that can score. And I thought we handled it well. It's it's a hard style to play against, but uh, I thought we had great leadership right here by these guys, great energy. And, um, and you know, we almost did it for 40 minutes. It's, it's hard to do it for 40 minutes at this point in the season, but we did a pretty good job. Block with 13 shots tonight. I mean, it's a cool record. Uh, really? Yeah. Where are you right now on the defensive end? Are you, are you ahead of where you like to be, or are you where you would like to be, or no? Uh, no, no, not at all. We, we, we're, we're a team that needs a lot of work. You know, this is a young team for us. You know, usually we've got more juniors and seniors. You know, we have no seniors. We're playing some freshmen, so we have a lot of work to do. But, um, but I think we have the potential to be a really good defensive team. And, and you know, I think you saw some of that tonight. It was more athleticism tonight than uh, defensive technique. How about the three-point shooting tonight? Uh, much better. Um, and, and, you know, I think it came from the passing, just a lot of extra passes. Um, in the game against Columbia, I thought Mikhail was the guy that was getting shot. Pass one that was the recipient. That's, that's the way we've got to play Jay, with the way it started in the first half, were you pleased with the ball movement and, and shot selection that uh, they had on the floor? I, I was, you know, when you play a team that, you know, their philosophy is to, to press you, turn you over, and when you get into the half court, almost, almost let you score, almost, so they can get back. It's hard to play against. Yeah. So I was very impressed with how we handled it early, and, and really the energy early from Mikhail. We got Dante in there right away. Dante always brings us. Energy. I think we got him in with like a minute 30, and um, I want one to keep that energy going. In the NBA, they talk a lot about good, better, best, and it seems like there are a lot of examples of that tonight where guys right. good shots. Exactly. Found a guy who had a better shot, you know, more open shot. Exactly right. Um, we, we, we call that the, the extra pass, and, and you're right. There was guys that had good shots, and it started early in the game. Eric Pascal had a good one. Um, he passed it to someone had a better one, and then he passed it to McHale on the corners, Colin. Mm -hmm. And Colin had the best. I mean, uh, McHale had the best. That, that's a good way to explain it. McHale, can you talk about your performance tonight, scoring a career high in 23 points? Uh, this is something I don't think about. You know, I just go out there, try to play as hard as I can, and I just try to defend. You know, that's been doing since I got here, just trying to defend and rebound. And I take pride in defending and just trying to get past lanes, trying to pressure people like that. And then, like Coach says, you know, you defend, rebound, all that, then good things happen to you. Mikhail, there was a sequence in the first half where you blocked two shots, then Amari got one. It was three blocks in eight seconds. Do you recall the sequence, the defensive sequence? What do you remember? Uh, yeah, I remember that. And, you know, we was playing good defense, and we didn't let up. You know, they got the also rebound, nobody stopped. And O got another block, so it was just something. There's a lot of good energy, and we're all fired up off that, and that's what we should be fired up on. You know, deep is the thing, not off. Jay, when you have such a young team and they come out sizzling and making shots like they were at such a high percentage, how much extra confidence does that give a young group? Every experience like that helps them, you know, and I actually thought the Columbia game helped them more when you don't make shots mm -hmm. and you still keep your composure <coughs> and, and you, you, you find a way to do other things. Um, and, and, and then when you have the night right after that, when they do fall, kind of you get a good lesson right there real quick in two games. Just having so much size, how it gives you so many options in terms of, you know, always, you can always go small before, but now you can go big. Normally you can do so many different things. Yeah, if we can, if we can get to a point where um, Omari Spellman and uh, Demir Cosby Roundtree and Mikhail and Eric and maybe Dante, those guys, we, we can we could play like that. It would be a really big lineup and, and a good lineup. And it's just a matter of getting Omari and Demir to understand how to play the love of basketball. They're getting there. Jay, Omari, Omari's ability to step out and, and shoot the jump shot seems to open things up, too, for Eric inside. Yeah. O Omari really is one of our – we have good ones. I, should, I was going to – one of our top three-point shooters. And be careful saying it because we got some pretty good ones. But he really is, you know, and, and he does it every day. You know, we we do shooting drills and he, we chart shots. He makes his threes. 
he actually hasn't shot it as well as he as he can. Even free throw shooting, he's a good free throw shooter. He, he's just starting. I think he's a little, still a little nervous, but he'll get comfortable. And he can be a, he really can be a, a good three point threat. Have you been able to figure out the last time you guys had a, a big man with that kind of offense and skill set that early, early in his career? Not, not, not. <laughs> he, he he reminds me a little bit. This is a stretch, but I was just trying to think of a big man like a John Pannone that can face the basket and score, but also is big and burly enough to play. You know, that, that's high praise. No one knows that in the room, probably but us three. But, um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? That yeah. skill level, right? Dante, can you talk about the uh, jump from year one to year two? I know you have the, the retro here, but just the jump is on the from year one to year two and the rise and expectation of what you... Um, a lot of it was just confidence uh, from the older guys that we had. Josh, Chris, and Daryl, um, they did an amazing job just building me up uh, when things went <clears throat> south for me. And uh, when I was doing positive things, they kept me on a high horse. And um, just those three leaders being gone, my jump from last year to this year, it's just a leadership role. It's expanding, that's all. Um, we have a lot of weapons on this team, a lot of, a lot of athletic guys. So. The only thing that's expanding is my leadership role. Dante, can you talk about your dunk you had in the second half? Uh, um, I forget who kicked it up to me, but I just I saw an open lane to the basket. I just took off. Jermaine. I actually, I think was it was, it was Jermaine. Jermaine. It was Jermaine. Um, threw it up, and I actually didn't see it go in. Um, but I hit in the face, but I didn't see it go in. So I didn't even know it went in until my teammates came up to me. Which style do you guys prefer to play against? This or what you faced in you? Um, I think a great way to describe us, we can play against both. Um, we practice that every day. Just being able to come to this, uh, different styles, different pace, and athleticism and the length to do both. <coughs> Jerry, when you, when you schedule games like this, do you look for teams that gives you that kind of diversity <coughs> that you're going to play early to get you ready for a, for a, for a big season, or does it just... You just schedule the games and they and they play the way they yeah, play. Yeah, that would be really. It, it would look me look. It would make me look smart if I did, but we we don't. Um, but we have been talking about that as a staff. You know, um, even our scrimmages, we went from Pitt to Virgi to play Drexel in a game to Virginia, Columbia, and now this style. We played almost every style in in our three scrimmages, exhibition game, and two games really. Um, you know, Virginia is such a unique style. Pitt, really unique, and a lot of like the old Vanderbilt teams. So I, I, it's like Dante is talking about. We have been able to, in practice, really look at a lot of different types of um, offenses, and I think it's going to help our young guys as we get into the season. Yeah, one of the question marks surrounding your game has been sort of your ability to score. How much did you work on it over the off season uh, to try to improve your offensive game? Uh, you know, in the spring and summer at school and all stuff, you know, we work out every day and get our shots up and extra shots. So it's just something we did, like, you know, in our, as a team, you know, we work out every day. That's something that we praise on. And just me doing that it just gets me better for where I'm at right now. Jay, how big is it to have three true freshmen make impacts on the floor? I wish we didn't have to do that, but <laughs> it was it was nice. Um, it's just every any time we can get them minutes to, uh, with uh, is going to help us because we're, we're going to they're going to be our depth. You know, that's what in the past. You know, we showed the t team. You know, we we've had Mikhail and Dante coming off the bench, and that, that's that, that, that's some big time players come off the bench. Freshmen. So uh, yeah, that's why I say early we might not look at the end. If those guys can, can really learn uh, how we play, that's going to be Jay, you talk about the home game you have coming up on Friday in Allentown against Lafayette. Yeah, that's, that's going to be that's gonna be pretty cool. That that We played in that uh, arena. Yeah. And the PPN uh, a couple, few years ago and it was sold out, don't over fans. And, and we almost got beat by Lehigh. Um, but so so we, we look forward to that. We really do. It, it's a great environment playing Fran O'Hanlon, a Villanova legend, and uh, a Lafayette team that kind of plays that style like Columbia. So a, a, another tough matchup.
Yeah, it, it was really good for uh, for Jermaine. You know, everybody, Colin's a point guard. It's always easy for point guards. They get ready. They're, you can put a point guard in any anytime, anywhere. They're always ready to play. Um, uh, Damir is going to be important for us. You know, he's size up front. So it was really good to get Jermaine going tonight. And um, he, he's, he's a guy in his position that could really help us if we can, <laughs> if we can get him comfortable. He still looks a little uh, skittish out there, but it's just because he cares so much. He, he's going to be fine. Jay, how much are you guys going to rely on uh, scoring performances like Mikhail had tonight? You know, I hope through experience here we can realize that one night it's going to be Mikhail, one night tonight it was Mikhail and Dante, you know. The other night I think it was Eric and who? Jalen, you know. If, 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 if it's an advantage if everybody – revels in that if, 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 if they don't revel in it and then it's not an advantage but I hope that's our advantage during the season thank you guys Thanks.